once upon a midnight dreary, the demon Lord Trigon had a plan to escape his extra-dimensional prison. By manipulating a poor young Gothamite named Angela Roth, he would spawn a half-demon child that would summon him to Earth. See, this is one of the many reasons you don't live in Gotham. Thankfully, Angela was rescued and taken to a dimension called Azareth, filled with a bunch of smelly space hippies. And there, she would have her doomed daughter, Raven. The Azarathians were terrified of Raven. If she ever lost control of herself, even for a moment, she could release Trigon into the world and kickstart the apocalypse. So they trained her to control her mind, forbidding her from feeling any emotions whatsoever, and thus suppress Trigon's influence. Which is smart, since even without Trigon, she's strong enough to accidentally destroy the universe. I don't know, Wiz. Being told that if I get too mad or too happy, I'd let loose the actual devil might just make me a dad bitch stressed out of my goddamn mind. I call it the prequel trilogy school of psychotherapy. And much like a Jedi, Raven learned some sick magical powers. Raven is an empath and can sense the emotions of others even from across the universe. She can shape those emotions so precisely it acts as a form of mind control. She can sense your presence, absorb and redirect your pain, steal your energy for herself, communicate telepathically, erase memories, or just turn your brain off and put you to sleep. Her telepathy is so strong she could resist a mental attack from the Hive Queen, whose psionic abilities could overpower even Superman's mental defenses. God, I could use that some nights. And he can resist mind control from dudes who can destroy the multiverse. Seems like she's got this emotion sh locked down. What's the problem? Her very soul. While her body is ostensibly human, her soul is the locus for Trigon's corruption, and she can separate it from her own body in the form of her silhouette. It's a bird! It's a plane! No, that's just a bird! This soul self is non-corporeal and can be controlled from an interstellar distance away. She can use it to fly, teleport across dimensions, possess people, smash ponies like a battering ram, and even absorb things into a pocket dimension of infinite darkness. Or the nightmares! It can also regenerate from complete disintegration. I could have really used that when I sold my soul for student loans. <laughs> Wait, how much? Does a soul cuss? Uh, oh gosh, look at the time! Come back next week for the showdown of Phoenix versus Raven.